right, so, back after a couple week absence, uh, my laptop was in at the shop, so I didn't really have any way of getting video off of, uh, off of my camera. But, we're back now, and, uh, yeah, so most of the past couple weeks have, once again, been spent working on isolations. Especially this little exercise, because I actually found it to be hugely helpful. And, uh, in figuring out how to keep my hands making this pattern in all the different orientations I could possibly think of. And I think that the isolation, or rather, yeah, that my isolations are looking cleaner as a result of it. You, the video watching public, can tell me if indeed I'm right in that conclusion. Um, interesting thing that has been helpful with actually is uh, is my uh, my hybrids. So originally, the whole point of this was to be able to get down that center motion a lot cleaner, and I think it definitely has done that. But uh, one unintended side effect of it is that it's also been helping me get the opposite time. Uh, I guess combinations of hybrids down a lot better too. So this would be going the same time and uh, if you are watching it the way I am, um, what you'll notice is that the two poi match orientation at the top and the bottom so that they form a straight line. And then when you want to switch to the split time variant, they form a straight line going off to the two sides. So, that's been a fun discovery. And, um, yeah, uh, aside from that, uh, I've been playing around more with that uh, cat pattern that comes as a result of breaking out of a Mercedes and kind of tinkering with the idea of doing a turn with the cat pattern between the different positions, like so. I think it looks relatively decent. And then of course there would be doing it down. Oops. Above. So yeah, I think it's just a fun pattern to play with. And of course, um, there's the cat pattern that I believe was sticky for showing me this. Where instead you're going with the, uh, with the split time butterfly motion. And I think the wall plane equivalent of that is this pattern right here. So, been trying to alternate between those two patterns, but this is nowhere near clean yet. Ah, still a fun idea though. Yeah, um, aside from that, mainly uh, been playing around with a lot of buzz saws and getting real comfortable by switching back and forth between my dominant and non-dominant sides so that I can switch in and out of the pattern wherever I so choose. Like so. With hopefully the anti-spin the anti-spin pattern not too far off behind it. Oh yeah, so uh, a couple weeks ago I was also playing around with uh, this pattern. I got a real helpful suggestion from somebody who'd been watching my blog to actually visualize it instead of having me 
think about which hand was on top going through this pattern, instead of thinking about it as, uh, uh, as following a single hand all the way around, so that my right hand then would always be the lead hand, which has been helpful to a certain degree. But the problem is, is that my plane just is not clean on my left hand yet. So I still need to focus a little bit more on it than I would like. But if every faith, eventually, it will be a very helpful trick in getting this down. So, yeah, that's uh, the past two weeks in a nutshell. And uh, next week, hopefully, I will be back with more astounding stuff. Have a good week, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.